I grew up in a lot of places. Popokora, Manido, I've learned everywhere. I always got teased because I had new shoes. I was left out of school because I was the white kid. No one believed me I was Māori because of my skin colour. That always pissed me off, eh? When I lived in Papakura, I was getting bullied on my own street and at school. I was always fighting. That's when his name started coming out. I didn't want to tell anyone, not even my mum or my older sister, and I'm close as with her. I didn't tell them until I was 14. I didn't want to tell no one. I was getting bullied for what? Years. From like year one to year ten. I thought if I talk about it, someone, like people would like, open up about how they feel about bullying. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like talking in front of a big crowd about like what I've been through. And it gave me heaps, like way more confidence to do like to do things now. It was cool meeting Dom. My mentor here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in it, Bradley. <laughs> yeah, actually, what I want to do now is get bullied. Because I see a lot of kids these days getting bullied. And you know, I know what it's like to get bullied. And, yeah, I don't know what to write at first. And then somehow when we were doing the, you know, those five days, yeah, I just started. Yeah, but then, yeah, I've done it, cracked it. Getting a small group, so me and Dom done. We just been him, yeah, and just told him. Yeah, or like just go to someone you can trust to tell. Yeah, and then like they can probably help. Yeah, my mum helped me. Yeah, I think that'd be the best person to get to. So I got used to telling people, like people that like, I can trust, you know, can't just tell anyone. Right? Yeah, then I just got used to telling people how um, I asked how like if I've been bullied, and I tell them, yeah. I'm be white ass, yeah, still don't care. Still think I'm a Māori. I don't care what the people think about me now.